Okay, so to get started I'm going to be using this product by Stila. It's a, um, it's called Lightning White Eye Gloss. And so I'm just going to take some of that on my ring finger. And just, and I don't have any, um, primer on the lid. It's really not necessary. Um, you probably won't be able to find this product, um, because I've had this for quite a while. But Jessie's Girl does sell a white um, cream shadow. Um, you can get that at Rite Aid and they cost about, I think, 3 or $4, at the most $5. So you're just going to spread that all over the lid like that. And you want to bring it out just a little bit. Um, and you will get creasing since it's a cream product, or they call this one a gloss. Um, so if you don't like that, you should definitely um, set the entire area. So I'm going to be using this um, silver color, and this is by e.l.f. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up on my ring finger, because I'm not going to put it all over the lid. I'm just going to put it concentrated right in the center here. Just like that. Okay, now I'm taking a piece of tape. And you want it to stay sticky, so do not put it on the back of your hand first. Alright. Um, and you don't want it angled up too high, you want it... Um, and then press down really firmly because I'm going to be using, well, if you're using the same products, I'm going to be using a um, liquid liner, and I don't want it to seep underneath. So that was the other reason for not putting it on the back of my hand first, to get some of the stickiness off. Um, but if you've already done your foundation, then you will need to touch up your foundation in that area, because it will pick it up. Alright. Um, so now coming in to where about your iris ends. I'm going to draw a line. Okay, and then follow the tape. Just like that. And you don't want to go up too far um, where the crease is right here. That's where you want to stop. So once you get to that point, you want to draw the line up. Okay, you're going to stop, and now picking up a flat angled brush, like this, um, just, I'm going to pick up the black that's in here, just a little tiny bit. And then you just want to angle the brush the same way that the um, that the tape is going that way, and you're just going to brush it in like that. And then just take off the excess. All right, and then just continue to line up just a little bit, just using whatever is left on the brush after you've you've taken it off, or after you've, um, dusted it off a little bit. And you're not going to go up too far. Don't go up further than, um, where you started. So right there, where the iris, um, ends. Alright, and then you take the tape off. So obviously it doesn't look quite like the other eye just yet. Um, in case you want to pick up just a little bit more of the black eyeshadow and just get very close to the lash line. You don't want a thick line at all. Okay. Alright, so now taking um, the concealer brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of concealer. So I'm just going to use the one that I usually use um, underneath, but it doesn't really matter. 
can use one that's the same color. Alright. So you're going to take that right underneath the line and you're just going to clean it up. But at the same time, you're going to end up dragging some of the product. So I don't know if that's showing up, hopefully it's showing up on the camera. Alright, so now it should look like that. And now, let's see, I'm going to go back with the um, flat angled brush. Okay, and now you want it angled that way again. And actually, now I'm turning it the other way. You're just going to flick up whatever you have left on the brush. Um, so you shouldn't have cleaned it from the time that you did your your lash line until now. I'm just going to extend this one a little bit more so that they match. Okay. Alright. So now I'm going to put on my concealer under underneath and I will be right back. Okay. So I put my concealer on and then I set it with the Makeup Forever HD powder. So now I'm going to move on to the cheeks and the um, lips because I don't want to run out of time. So on the cheeks, I'm using um, Her Blooming Cheek from MAC, which is just a bright hot pink. Um, it is out in the collection right now, or the um, Tartan collection. Alright, just like that, and then as always, I always... Um, get my foundation brush and then just drag it back in so that it blends a little bit better. Alright, just like that. And next on the lips, I'm using a, um, it's called Purple Fashion Lip Liner by CC. Um, so this isn't an expensive product. Um, I don't like to use, a, I don't like to spend a lot of money on products um, unless they're a unique color. So, um, this would be a dupe for Max Magenta. Alright, so you're going to line the entire lip with this. Um, and fill it in. So I'm going to do that and I'll be okay. right back. So what I did is I lined my lips and then um, instead of filling it in completely, what, is it, what I did is I took a lip brush. Actually this isn't a lip brush, um, I use it as a lip brush. It's the e.l.f. Um, concealer brush. That's the perfect shape um, to use as a lip brush. So I took that and I just dragged the color in towards the inner part of the lip area. Okay, so now I'm actually going to clean off that brush. Um, okay, now taking a clear lip gloss. Uh, I'm going to use this. It's, um, it doesn't look clear, but it is. It's by NYC and it's super shiny. I would definitely um, call this like a dupe for Max lip gloss. A little clear one. It's the shiniest one that I found and it's definitely not as sticky as Max. So I just put that on the back of my hand because um, I don't really want it to get um, change color too much more. So I'm going to pick up that lip brush. And then you don't um, want to get too close to the edge, um, so you don't want it to bleed. Okay. And you want it to be more of a patty motion. Alright, so I'm going to clean up the brush again. And now I'm taking this glitter here, and I don't know what brand it is because I bought it a long time ago um, during Halloween. Um, and it's just a white um, iridescent 
glitter. So I'm going to take that. And... Alright, well, let me get the glitter ready and then I'll be okay. right back. So I have the glitter ready, so I'm going to be picking up the white and be placing that in the inner portion of the lip. Oh. So it's going to be a bit lighter here. So what you need to do is you need to press it down And you need to make sure that you do use the gloss because um, you can't put gloss on after. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking um, Fuchsia. I think it's called Fuchsia. I'll stick a name for that on here. Um, I think it's, oh, here it is. It's called. Whatever, it's hot pink, and it's by Jessie's Girl. So I'm going to take some of that. Um, you have to make sure you clean off your brush. And I'm going to put that on the rest of the lip area. Um, if you can find a lighter pink, then that would look nice too. Um, this is the only pink that I could find, though. Okay, so I finished um, putting the glitter on the lips. Um, but what you need to do after, what you probably will need to do, is take some of your concealer and clean it up on the edges. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to curl my lashes and put mascara on. And then I'm going to be putting on these lashes by MAC. And these are uh, number 45s. You can get some from um, Ardell. I think they're just called Wispies. So something like that. And it kind of goes along with the little flick that's right here. So I will do that and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay. So here's the finished look um, with the eyelash on. A little wispy, whatever you want to call it. Um, but one thing I did want to mention is um, the glitter is not going to last all night long on your lips, so you will need to take your gloss with you and um, your glitter, whatever kind of glitter that you're using, and then um, you know try to make sure that you drink through a straw instead because the whole thing is just going to come off, including the lipstick will come off with it. Um, that's why I didn't really put the lipstick right in the center. Alright, so let me know if you have any questions.